Hi, everybody. I'm Nadia Shaw. And hello, I'm Clarissa Dolphin. Hi there, and I am David Cochran. And we are here to welcome the one and only Stormy Grace as one of the hosts for the ESAR Symposium on Saturday, August 28th. Welcome, Stormy. Hello, and thank you so much, you guys, for having me. And I'm really excited. This is going to be fun. I think you're going to be an amazing host, Stormy. Thank you so much for joining us and being part of this event. Absolutely. What a great chance to bring people from all over the world together to talk about the thing that we gather for, which is astrology. So I am thrilled to be a part of this. Yeah. And one of the things I'm excited about is bringing in people with different perspectives. You know, you have Vedic astrologers, medieval astrologers, you know, every kind we have, you know, it's intergenerational. We have new voices. We have, you know, so many interfacing. And our topic is what the heck is astrology? So, and, you know, we're gonna, this could get controversial. Like, what is it fundamentally and what can we use it for? So this is going to be fun. Yeah, it'll be a well, great opportunity. Yeah, for sure. And I think that, uh, David, if anyone is open to the exploration, it certainly is David. So much of this was his concept. But Stormy being MC, one of our MCs, I think is very special. It is special. Yeah. So, of course, you want to say something about that, too? No, I mean, I'm, I think it's very special because you occur to me, Stormy, as the great modern galvanizer of the astrological community. So literally when we're talking about what is astrology and we're bringing all these different schools of thought, it's like, uh, duh, let's get Stormy in the mix. Yeah. Yeah, the great you're... modern galvanizer. I love that for Stormy. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So when those are the next t-shirts made, I'll say I got it here. <laughs> well, it's a yeah. wonderful opportunity to explore this idea of what is astrology by bringing all of these different voices together. And we're doing that right now online in many different forms and fashions. It seems like, you know, having, um, having a little shutdown actually pulled us all together in this particular community. And now we've got an opportunity to celebrate that and take that exploration to the next level. Because I do think that astrology means a lot of different things for a lot of different people. So we get to bring that out and, and maybe see where we meet and greet on this particular topic. Yeah, I like to, to say, your I know, right, Clarissa? That's such yeah. a great point, too. Yeah, <laughs> referring to Stormy's signature meet and greets. And eats, oh. right? There's always eating happening as well. Yes, it's an eat and greet. I'm a Taurus. I like to eat. I like to talk. So <laughs> uh, eat. Yeah, we eat, we greet, we talk about astrology. We bring in many different perspectives to see what's going on out there and how people can meet and, and use that. So, yeah eating and astrology. That's maybe the only thing we're not doing at ESAR, but we're definitely getting everybody together. Oh, it's happening, but off camera, yeah. behind the scenes. Oh, yes. <laughs> People are going to have to eat because this is what, nine hours, if I remember right? This is like an all day event. You know, there's an hour, there's like two half hour lectures, then a half hour break. And we just do this one hour, half hour break throughout the whole day. Of course, the whole thing's recorded. So, you know, if you're in some wild time zone or whatever, or, you know, you can't manage a whole day, you know, the whole thing's going to be recorded. And, you know, what, what I love is bringing the total community together, bringing people like Stormy, who are leaders in interviewing and interfacing people. Who do we have? Like Clarissa said, Stormy. So, you know, we're just bringing in totally fantastic people, you know, to, to have fun sorting through this. Yeah, hopefully we're able to bring that. I know that Amanda's going to be with me. We'll do this together. So hopefully we are able between the two of us to be powerful hosts for this kind of an event um, and make people, you know, have this sense and this feeling as they're attending it of, of a genuine interest and the genuine melding. Because sometimes, you know, I've definitely been to events where we're trying to put a lot of different things together. It's like, nah, some of these, some of these don't actually fit. But I think when you do have the right mix of people, the right hosting and the right idea to surround it in, you kind of get this really delicious sense of you leave a conference or you leave an afternoon feeling inspired to move to what's next for you in your life. And hopefully that's what we're able to do and have some laughs along the way. <laughs> there's a great bit, there's a great bit of comedy about all of it when it comes to astrology. 
Yeah. yeah. What do you, what do you mean think by that? So comedic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not funny story. <laughs> <laughs> I think that whenever, see, look, we're already like pre symposium, right? Yeah, right I'm already now. smiling. <laughs> Absolutely. We're already getting into it. I do think that when we're talking about the life, the world, the work of the soul, you know, when you come down to doing soul work through a human condition, there's a fair bit of comedy about that because humans try to do things the way humans try to do things, which is not always the way the soul would prefer to move. So there is a fair bit of comedy about all of it. And I do think that regardless of if it's the dark night of the soul, if it's your Venus return, whatever it is, when we can step at a point where we take accountability, but also surrender taking ourselves so damn seriously, it's a lot easier to find the love and the light and make it through what we're doing here in astrology and exploring that soul work. So there is a fair a bit of comedy about all of it well that's so beautifully stated because you know we know that people can get up in arms you know like this is my system and you know you have to use these rulers and blah, 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 blah. and this is not going to be like that this is going to be people coming in and being able to say what they think not holding back you know and make it clear make it honest but you know i i don't think we're going to have a lot of ego stuff going on it's going to be fun it's going to be a blast we're going to be able to, you know, contrast different points of view and it's going to be fun. Yeah. What do you think, Nadia? I think it's going to be a blast. I think it's going to be a party. I don't know how I'm going to hold myself back. That's what I think, especially with you hosting Stormy. I think it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. No, I know there's just going to be somebody who is just, you know, we come in or a bit more serious and stuff like that. And I look forward to engaging these people too. I really, I think more than anything, look forward to hosting um, some of our members or some of our people who come around, but haven't actually been in like a symposium yet or haven't actually really conferenced yet. So they're kind of hanging on on the outside of the plate. And I'm like, get in the middle. This is where the astrology is juicy. Come on in here, you know, kind of the welcoming committee. I have a North Node in Cancer. I'm like, the best kindergarten teacher ever. <laughs> <laughs> Get in here. We want to love on you. We want to share astrology with you. So I look forward to it. And thank you for asking me. Okay. You're, you're welcome, Stormy. Anybody else have any last? I Who wanted to say that I have a, a cancer ascendant. So I seem like a great kindergarten teacher on the surface, <laughs> but oh boy, no, no. I got this Aquarius sun square year. And oh no, that's not what's going on. <laughs> I know I do understand because there are many moments that that uh, Capricorn South node wins out. And I'm like, I don't understand. Do you have a job? What are you I know, doing? Right? I know, right? I love it. I do want to add, I've had a chance to work with Stormy a few times now. And she is just, I think, one of the best astrologers out there right now. And I think that we at ESAR are just so fortunate that Stormy, with her very in-demand schedule because she is such a superstar in astrology um for her to make time for us to be emceeing this event is really very special so thank you so much stormy absolutely thank you for having me so 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 much and we'll see you guys we'll see all of you guys on the 28th okay perfect <laughs> thank you so much all right bye everyone bye. thanks everyone see, see you on the 28th bye cool